Hi there, friends, and welcome to episode 43 of The Sleepers. I'm Icon, and today we will recover from the loss of our latest of our late priest, Tanner. May he rest in pieces. He got a shot into the heart, or was it into the brain? I can't remember anymore, but he instantaneously passed away in the last episode from us when we fought back a siege, which is really, really, truly and awfully sad, but what can we do? It's all a simulation, and according to Gracie's wacky religion, I guess she will think that Tanner will just respawn somewhere else. That's how things work in this uh, world here. There isn't any conscious and capable negotiator, because uh, we, we got somebody in a mental state. Okay. Well, so we got to wait until... Hammer is back to his senses. Pretty annoying considering that we're really low on food, but well, well, we've had worse things happening in the past. Just need to remember that they should have some new food before they go. That's all right. Good old friend Ipe, are you are you awake? Are you willing to work? Both answer, uh, questions can be answered with yes. Wonderful. Okay, I don't want to put in a regular light in there because I somehow feel like I'll be adding a, sa a, a sunlight, some lamp here anyway soon, so why should I bother? More war merchants visiting us. That's really good. Just hope that hammer is snapping out of it soon. The caravan is not exactly idle, my dear friends. The caravan is waiting for somebody to snap out. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? They'd sell me a rhino. Eat. Oh, I thought of that. They even got two of them, but no. If it's no breeding pair, I'm not buying. I want my breeding pairs, you know. So we already had one of you guys lately, so just going to take that silver off from you. Thank you. So yeah, the uh, caravan has ran out of food. How long has it been now? I can't, I sadly can't check it out. I mean, uh, okay. Now, I got iguanas. Let's just sell away those iguanas. Who cares? I'll also sell away pretty much all the ostriches, except for one male and one female. The rest can all go. Wait a sec, why keep the old male? Let's keep a young male here. And a young female. Here we go. So that's that. Dromedaries. Uh, let's sell away all the donkeys. I, I don't want to have any donkeys anymore. They are a thing of the past. We're dromedary riders now. Now, what do you guys have in store for me? Oh shoot, we really need to buy something big here. Wooden plate armor, not exactly what I was looking for. Ah, a mega screen telly. I'll take that. The boys and girls back home will be very, very pleased. A mind screw. Hmm. Tempted. But no. So we're just going to pick up a nice amount of steel here and on top of that chocolate for the way back home. And that's that. Alright. I'll leave it with that because they already got more than enough uh, work to, to carry and all. Temporary workers. They would give me a tech prof subpersona core. Do I look like I need something like that? Let's keep going. Oh, look at that. 
social fighting. I don't want to know why. Subtly shamed Sayo's lack hair. Oh man, that's that's nasty. So that's how these uh, people get their fights going. Okay. Solar flare. Okay. Meanwhile, we're getting these fortifications done. Very happy about that. Very, very happy. Okay. Oh, we're, we're gonna see the ostrich flood now. Look at it go. Just a moment longer. And... Oof! Baby ostriches! Sorry, guys. I love it. When, when ten of those uh, hatch at once, it's always such a uh, fun to look at. Basically, the more the better. So, uh, here, look at Gracie roping the mole. Gracie the big roper. Okay. There we go. That's the next generation of ostriches. Yo, Ipe, what's going on? You're digging that compacted steel, but that's only because you're friggin' done. Nice. Okay. So, before we beauty up this place, just going to make it more work. Okay, so things that I want are we're going to smoothen out at least this wall so we can lay down the cables from the neighboring room. All right, neural supercharge for Hawk. Why are you so unhappy, though? I ask you. My friend Tanner died. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it, my dude. So with that, we can easily get that power from here to there, and that's a really nice thing. Hawk tantruming because of darkness okay okay hulk it's been so dark i don't know if these guys are quite the wusses if you ask me maybe i'm asking too much of it from them but what do i know okay hammer please create that door here too and then probably Probably I take back what I thought lately. We're we're going to put down some standing lab in here. Just to make work processes go faster here. Okay. Still needs more people in here. Seriously. We're way too low on workforce. But that's the issue with the blood and dust difficulty. While it's all manageable, I, I never run into fights that I really can't handle most of the time. Most of the time I don't run into fights that I can't handle. But at the same time, it, it is really, really hard to, to keep them happy all the time. So keep a Bond and Cobra out of that. Let's punch Lumi before she before she hurts the iguana. Okay, so Lumi, you've been you you've, you've suffered some wounds from that iguana. Serves you right. Ipe has a crisis of belief. Surely he he doesn't feel like he's ready for for his priesthood, like. He he's a he was a good friend or Pat or uh, late friend Tanner and the first thing he did was passing down in a catatonic breakdown and afterwards he had yet another mental breakdown because his friend Tanner died so he he really liked this guy a lot got a sign now. Let's drop down the, some lamp. 
Here comes the sun. So this room ain't big enough for more than one sun lamp. Those columns don't really play nicely with that, but I, I didn't plan on doing a, a max door capped out uh, build with the hydroponics anyways. I'm a, la I'm a lazy guy. I, I don't need maximum efficiency. Because it hurts my brain to to get that done properly. There's one uh, th there's one way to build those hydroponics though that they um, use up the room ideally. It ain't it ain't that hard. Raiders, seriously, guys, just when I want to do my own little rubber plantation, you guys come by. Thanks. You'll make nice coats. Shoot, Lumi is so roughed up. Goodness. And she's unarmed again. So, who's unarmed as well? Hands down. Guys, okay. So, I got two people. Two of my fighters are just disabled, right? Okay, you bet. Wonderful. My dude. It's time that you grab your gun and defend your home. Thank you. So what about the timber wolves? Are they trained yet? Ish. So we are we are in a good we our timing ain't that horrible, so Ipe, are you hungry? No, you're just tired, but... Oh, it was also her lover. I see, I see. So, they're all that heartbroken because he slept with pretty much everybody in the colony. That's why. Everybody loved Tanner. It was a literal thing. Okay. Lumi, you, you just uh, equip your assault rifle and go to bed. It's no good with you. This is a quite rough fight, and... I don't know. I don't quite feel ready for that, honestly. But let's see how how it how it'll play out. The traps should take down one or two of them. Okay. Let's focus our fire. I want to focus my fire especially on people with melee weapons. Alright. That was uh, a lot easier than I anticipated. Rabiar, what's up with you? What's your story? You're an ugly night owl. Not, I'm not gonna keep you, but we're, we're gonna keep you for, for other reasons. To make the colony happy again. That's what we're gonna do. Bye bye, raiders. It's been my pleasure. Come again anytime. So, who are these guys actually? Bustbustiza. That's the local savage tribe, isn't it? Yeah. Fierce tribe. Sorry. It's savage. Yeah, fierce. Now, Gracie, you, you are supposed to keep that person alive this time, okay? Alive. Good girl, Gracie. Yeah, you know. It is enough that you give them some medicine. This time she ain't got no uh, big bad uh, food poisoning, so... Tending is a lot easier. Last time I tried this, Gracie had, a, had too much of a food poisoning. This is not the worst of characters. Cooking is decent. Plants are decent. Melee and shooting is decent. Hmm. Yeah, well. Just uh, considering. You know. Just considering. We do need more people. But on the other hand, this is... Uh, capable of animals. I don't know. You're just gonna wait until 
this person can walk again and then we're gonna do what we always do okay then now you you filthy wow hawk seriously what have you done you're a beautiful room my man so consumes simple meal and makes joints no, not exactly we i really want that uh done so badly Forced weather for Engo. Do I get an Engo for the forced weather? No. Engo is the chief of these people. And they want to give me a foggy rain for 16 days. In return, I'd receive a psychic insanity lands. Another a new psychic insanity lands just for some fog and rain? Deal. It is quite annoying, sure, but a friggin' psychic insanity lands? These things are so good. They are among my favorite weapons. Or items, I should rather say. So, let's turn that off. And let's start... Start dropping down the hydroponics here. Say one, two, three, four. This does cost an insane amount of uh, steel, though. That's why I keep buying all the steel I get from the from my neighbors, because I know how how steel hungry the late game of uh, RimWorld is. So what do we have here? Sidekick Securities. I like that name. So we got got some goats we could sell, but no. They're selling cows, but no. I already got enough trouble keeping my animals sated. That's pretty. That has grown into quite a problem lately. So not too interested. Nutramines. Do we want to buy nutramines? Or yes. Actually, yes. We can't do penoxicillin out of that. Even if I'm not interested in using that for a drug production, the penoxicillin production is actually totally worth it. Here we, have. Here we got some. And there's more steel. There's more glass steel. Okay, sell away a couple of these reinforced barrels. Sterols, always a good uh, source of income. And leather robes, masterwork pants. Okay, I'm actually capable of buying all their plasteel. Nice, like that. Okay, incendiary shells can go as well. We don't need them. Wow, good deal. So anything else? Actually, if I can, I'll keep those barrels. There is no reason to sell them right now. Here we go. Kazoosh. Alright, let's haul away those nutrients. Rabiar is no longer incapable of walking. Wonderful. So, Rabiar, make our uh, make our religion happy. Come on, Gracie. Spectacular. Plus eight mood. Wonderful. You know, whatever makes my people happy. Okay. So that rainy weather doesn't uh, dr uh, drain the power of the solar gens. That's really good. Really, really good. Hey, long blades, play Dama. I literally got no clue anymore why I do research these things. We're just that advanced at this point. The goat dough has gotten a food poisoning because the cooking room was it was dirty. Okay. Good thing that it was just the goat dough this time. 
All right, it's actually only only getting it's only punching the uh, animals here. Awesome, man, that's so effing lucky. Like most of the time, these uh, it, these food poisoning incidents strike the entire colony. Well, in this situation, it is also the entire colony, but in a different way. <laughs> Okay, Fear of Architectnics. Symbol burning. Do we already have a new effigy here? No. Okay. Let's do it again here. So... Wonder if my people actually do use the Audubon. Accordingly, automatically. Alright, there's the rice deteriorating away. That's a shame. Probably should just put a roof above that. Above everything which ain't no growing zone. You know, these things, they do deteriorate slower if they are only outdoors and not unroofed. So, this, this could be a solution. And it doesn't really cost me anything or, or diminish anything. Okay, we don't have a rook lab yet, don't we? So let's change that. Also, it's quite obvious that I am not getting my jobs done here. Land work is absolutely never done accordingly. Lumi is suffering from regular mental breakdowns, therefore I don't see her being capable of doing the job. Maybe we should have kept Rabiar, but no. We we will We will strengthen our settlement but in a different way. Yeah, Lumi is very, very unreliable. Big downside of her character here. Yay, we got that. So probably at least those rituals make will make our people a little, a little bit more happy here. Okay. Wait a sec, we do have a drug lab. My bad. Arf, I'll hit that bill button one day. There we go. So let's create panoxicillin until we got like 20 dosages of that. Or no. Actually, 12 are more than, more than enough. And let's assign the drug policy. And oxicillin every five days. That stuff is just way too good not to use it. To not use it. Because it's just a safe way keeping your people free from really, really nasty disease. So Hawk creates that stuff even though he's not really capable of. So we're going to store Panoxicillin here too. And you know what, while we're at it, we're also going to store Nutrimines here, too. Do we have smoke leaf leaves here? Yeah, we do. So we are going to store the psychoid leaves here as well. And we're going to expand that zone. With my usual mod packages, I'll I would just construct storage furniture. Some cabinets and shelves for that stuff. But in vanilla, you don't... You can also create shelves and such. It's not it's not like it's useless or anything, but the only benefit is that if you put things on a shelf, this uh, the items lose their innate uh, ugliness. While yeah, you, you see how, how how crazy my people are. <laughs> so it would definitely help them, but I somehow don't like doing that, you know. 
I somehow don't like using the vanilla shelves because their benefit is so small. Okay. Wealth? Well, we're, uh, we're slowly getting there. But the most important thing now is happening. We do get our production running. So we're going to store Flake and Yayo here too. Because these will be our new export goods. So my personal favorite, if I just want to earn money, is always Flake. Because it's way more efficient in terms of re of yield per per cycloid leave whereas the what's it called again the yayo is a more refined product and way better if you actually want to consume the drug but if it's only money you're after flake is your best friend also quite dangerous though because you know random breakdowns binges <laughs> Uh, they been they like to binge on every crap that you have right now in store, you know. Okay, but overall, I feel like we're making awesome progress here. I think I want to hire yet another gardener though. I think that's going to change a awesome amount of uh, issues here. Go, cycloid plans being planted. And I I somehow want those uh, those lamps in here because this whole place looks less horrible when it's when it has lights. I also want to floor it at some point, but one thing at a time. I mean floors also add value, you know. We're we're all after value, aren't we? So why not why not floor our our little refinery too? In the end, every floored room will make my people a little bit happier. Because ugliness is, as we've noticed, pretty big a pretty big deal here in this game. The uglier an environment, the more they go nuts because of that. Yo Ipe. Snap out of it, my dude. So, punch that dude, punch that dude, punch him down. Murderous rage, I'll give you murderous rage. Come on, Ipe. We all like Tanner, but enough is enough. Alright. Yet another person which I need to re-equip re -equip her, uh, the gun. Goodness. Oh, her gun was actually right. Ipe is a woman. Okay. The permanent gender confusion over the world is, is a wonderful thing. Okay, I'd say that's enough to flick the switch. I want to. I want to give it a go. Yo, Hawk, can you please? Or, okay, hammer is already on it. Nice. So, yeah, it's it's not that bad. I've only wasted one tile on the other side. Quite happy with that. <laughs> All right. Now this will drop off a lot of money out of basically nothing. That's the best about these hydroponics. You generate money out of basically nothing because it's just power and we don't invest any resources to generate power. Well, okay, we do steel and components, but no, there, there is no ongoing cost for these things. Once you've built them, you, you built them and then they produce endlessly. That's really good. So where could we slam down another solar generator? Here. 
just want to have a lot of power generation here going on just to make sure that everything's going to be nice because during night time yeah our coal production is not that good but that's the good thing about uh, sun lamps they only work at uh, during the daytime so you don't need to worry about that yay my dude do you know how many mental breakdowns you had ipe in the last two weeks i do a terrible amount okay hammer is tantruming again why is there a lack of power here oh, because we have a faulty a faulty energy line there okay. are you done now now get there and repair it okay here we go now let's end today's episode with a nice fear of architectonics thank you guys all for watching it has been my pleasure i really like this series and i think with the new hydroponics my settlement will surely gain a lot of steam towards their progression we still need to manage and produce a lot of marine armors and such to keep our people safe but that's going to be another story that was a fun fair of architectonics wonderful okay drop your comments down below leave a thumbs up i'd be really really happy if you guys would do and of course check out the channel daily videos there just subscribe and turn on the notification bell and you will be notified have a good day, my friends, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.